Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we have another DaVinci Resolve tutorial and it's gonna be a really nice, easy and quick one for you guys. And it's also one that I've been getting a lot of questions about and that is how to create your own lights with inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's start the tutorial. So like I said, today we're gonna to be learning on how to have a lot of static shots just like this one and you film this kind of shot all the time. Generally your color grade, it might be the same every single time and you don't wanna to have to go into the color page in DaVinci Resolve and fiddle around with the settings every single time just to get it to look perfect. You just wanna have like a drag and drop preset or maybe you just, you're editing some footage and you come up with a really dope color grade that you wanna save for later use. Well, we're gonna show you how to do that in today's videos and it's really simple to do, which is great because I love doing these tutorials, easier for me to produce for you guys and hopefully easier for you to learn and follow along. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get going with the tutorial. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. First step, we're going to import our media. And we're just gonna navigate to desktop. Grab a clip here. And this is just the intro clip to this video. So I'm gonna drag that down onto the timeline. We don't really wanna to listen to the audio, so let's drop that down. And I'm just gonna to skip to like this bit here. All right, so now we have our video clip on our timeline. Let's quickly chuck a color grade on it. So we're gonna jump on over to the color tab. And what we're doing in this video really isn't important. Let's just, just do a real quick, quick little, how's it going? So I might drop the saturation down ever so slightly. And I'm also going to raise the black, crush the blacks a little bit. I don't know, I'm just sort of playing around here. It's not super important for this video. Add another node. We might put some, a little bit of blue in the shadow, not a lot, just a little bit. Put a little bit of orange in the mid-tones. Again, not a lot, very subtle. We might even do a little bit more. Now, thing to remember here is you can do whatever you want. You can go super crazy with this edit. You can do masks, you can do all kinds of stuff. So we could chuck a vignette in, let's do that. Let's. Go to open effects and we're gonna chuck a little bit of vignette. And we're just gonna drag that little bad boy down there and something like that. Yeah, all right, and we just wanna, all right, so we just need to boost a little bit of the exposure. So let's just bump that and good. So if I grab all these and I hit Command D or Control D on a Windows machine, you can see sort of what the grade has done. Nothing drastic, a little bit out there. How do we save it? That is the question. Really, really simple. All you need to go down is down to this little clip window. If you don't have this here, it is accessible. Top right hand corner, just up here. And you can just ha click it, make sure that it's visible. Now, if you've done an edit and you've got a bunch of these clips, you just need to make sure you're on the one that you've been editing. You're gonna right click on it. You're gonna go down to generate 3D LUT. Now you can see here that we have 33 point cube, 65 point cube. Uh, 65 point cube is a recent addition, relatively recent. It's just basically more information included in the LUT. Uh, but if you're doing 1080 footage, 33 points probably gonna be fine. 65 points, really, really good if you're doing say raw footage with a lot of data in the video file. For the sake of this one, I'm just gonna do 33 point LUT because this is 1080p footage. It's not raw and 33 point will be fine and it's going to choose a location to save it. And luckily by default, it will navigate to the DaVinci Resolve folder and where the LUTs are stored. All right, so we can call it whatever we would like to call it. Let's call it Office or, yeah, let's call it Office LUT. Cause you know, it's what I, where I record is in the office and it's where we use it, I'm gonna save it. Now, you'll notice that it isn't here by default. It won't pop up yet. That's because we've got to close DaVinci Resolve to open it. So let's close it and we'll reopen it. All right, so we're back in DaVinci Resolve. We've got our footage here with the light, well, with the color grade that we applied to it before. So what we're gonna do is jump on over to the color tab. Let's delete that grade. What we're gonna do now is 
with that particular clip selected, we're gonna quickly add a node. You can do that by going color, node, just add serial node, so just a basic node, nothing super serious. And we're gonna navigate on over to the LUTs. Now, if your LUT viewer isn't open, it is just this button at the top here, really, really simple. And we're going to, in the main folder, which is where we saved it, unless you created your own folder, you'll notice if we scroll down, it is here, Office LUT, and I can drag that onto there and all of a sudden we have our grade. Now you can obviously do it another way which is right clicking on the clip, going to LUTs, a 3D input LUT and it's just down the bottom here. That's how easy it is guys, super simple. Now we have the grade, really gonna be great for those of you who have continuous shots like this, so you film yourself quite often, it's gonna be really, really useful if you do that or if you I don't know, you're doing some color grading one day and you just come up with an absolute banger and you want to save it for further future use. Well, there you guys have it. That is how you create lots inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. I told you it was going to be simple and easy and it was. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Definitely more on the way. And until the next video, see ya.